open up, you know, and I talk more and I'm a loud person, but at first it takes me a second to warm up and I'll just like scope out kind of everyone's personality and like how they are before I try to like yeah. open up myself. Like I like darker things, like I like, you know, drapings and just all black clothing. I wear black lipstick on any day I want to and just stuff like that and that's something that Nashville hasn't been quite opened up to. Born in Mexico but I was raised in Nashville. At first my parents were like skeptical about it and unsure about how I was dressing. It kind of just gave me like raised an eyebrow but now I feel like over time they've gained respect over it. They've always encouraged me to be myself so. I read and write a lot. Um, I read more poetry more than anything. I feel like it helps me rest even though I don't consciously realize that it's helping me. But I feel like it helps me get out what I need to. I'd like to design but I, would, I have all these ideas in my head and branch out on that and get Nashville going on a bigger fashion scene. I'm like I'm like a light skinned Mexican tall and like a lot of people don't realize that I am Mexican. A lot of people are Catholic in my family and my whole culture is very based around like the Catholic religion. My mom's always encouraged us to go to church and things. I feel like it keeps me more like intact with my like culture and like family life. Like, if I if I find something that I want to wear like even if it's out of style or like it's never been in style, I'm gonna wear it anyway. It's just because I like it. Where I got inspired from was through movie characters, where it was a certain time. If it, if it was a 50s movie, I want to like dress like a 50s or you know 70s. I want to be like 70s. And right now, I'm really big on wearing lingerie as like clothing. Um, just see through things, you know, just wear like a bra under it. My friend made it. She owns a clothing line called Blooming Leopold. I've been modeling a lot for her and I just fell in love with her crop tops, so she made one for me. Um, a lot of the times I'll get asked if I'm like in something because I'm not in a certain era. I paid full price for different ones and because um, I was like, I'm never going to find a pair, so I'm just going to buy some. And two weeks later I came across these and they were like $3, like my favorite ones. I moved out to New York when I was 17 and I turned 18 there. My favorite thing was being on a rooftop with like a couple people and just like looking out at everything and just talking about life and that was always like the greatest of like my favorite experiences from there. A lot of my friends are really artistic and creative um, so they, they bring that out with their with their clothing and I think that also inspires me to just bring out whatever I want with my clothing. My favorite writers are like Bukowski and um, Ginsberg. Um, I'm really inspired by them. The whole vibe I get from them is just that they know what love is and that's something that inspires me a lot is love and like I'm infatuated with the idea of it. I've never been in love but you know it's something that inspires me every day. Like having someone that you can't live without and you would never imagine another day without them and I think that's absolutely beautiful and it's almost unreal that it's so beautiful to me.